Welcome to Centennial Hall, room 2314. This is a quick tutorial on how the uh, audio video systems work in here. Up at the teacher station, we have our touch panel. This is our startup screen here, and there's a button that says press here to begin. When I press that button, it gives me the choice of projector modes, whether I want to use just the left or just the right projector, both projectors or neither. For this video, we'll go ahead and hit use both projectors. That powers on both projectors and brings both screens down out of the ceiling for us. The process takes just over a minute, and while that's going on, we get a wait screen on our touch panel, and we'll know things are ready to go when that wait screen disappears and we get our main screen. While that's happening, let's go ahead and talk about the lighting presets. There are five presets, lights all on, two lecture presets, one using the whiteboard and one not using the whiteboard lights, the theater setting that'll dim all the lights, and a lights all off setting. You can also access those five presets from this controller on the wall. There are five buttons that correspond with the five presets we talked about. And both doors have a master on-off switch as well. Another thing that we can use here in the room is a wireless microphone. If I go to the wireless microphone and I go to the top, there's an on-off switch. I'll go ahead and switch that on. And then anything I say into the microphone, my voice is going to be reinforced on the speakers in the room. Now if I need to turn that level up or down, I can go to my touch panel and you'll notice now we're on the main screen, things are all booted up for us and on the bottom row we have an audio control button. When I hit that audio control button I get some options and on the left hand side is our wireless mic. I can turn it up or turn it down or mute it. I'll hit back to get back to our main screen and then when my uh, level is set correctly I can go ahead and use the wireless microphone. When I'm all done using it I'm going to make sure and go and click it off because even if you're not using it, if it's powered on, the batteries will completely drain. So we're going to make sure and turn that off. Okay, now we can talk about the main screen on our touch panel here. And the first thing that we're going to notice is at the very top, there are two tabs, a left projector tab and a right projector tab. You'll see right now the left projector is highlighted, meaning anything we select in the source select row is going to be shown on the left projector. If we wanted to change what's on the right projector, we would have to hit the right projector tab, and then anything we hit on the source select row is going to be shown on the right projector. So right now you'll see that PC is on the right projector, and PC is also on the left projector. So in the front of the room, both screens are going to show the PC for us. And I'll also give you a quick note on the PCs, is that we have to log into the PC when you get into the room and log out when we're done. Uh, the login into your username is going to be the first part of your UWL email address and the password is going to be your UWL net ID. So that's how we're going to log on to the computers. Okay, the next thing we have in our source select row here is our laptop options. We have the laptop, which is a VGA connection, and an HDMI laptop, which is our digital connection. And those cables are all located in this cable cubby here at the desk. There's even a power supply down in there, so you don't have to rely on your battery. You can plug right in. I'll go ahead and connect my laptop here to demonstrate. I'm going to use the VGA cable, and I'm going to plug that right into the side of my laptop here. Then I'll take the audio cable, and I'm going to plug that into the headphone jack on my computer. And then my laptop is ready to go. And I'm going to come over to the touch panel, and we'll notice that I'm on the left projector tab, and I'm going to hit the laptop button. So the left projector in the front of the room is going to show my laptop. So now left projector we have the laptop, and on the right projector we have the PC. A quick note, if your laptop doesn't show up, it's probably because you're not in the correct mode. You can get the correct mode in your control panel, or you can hold down the function key and tap the F8 key on a Windows keyboard, and it'll give you the options for the different modes right here. Choose the duplicate option, so that whatever you're showing on your screen is going to show up in the front of the class as well. The next option we have here is a Blu-ray. If I hit the Blu-ray button on our source select row there, it changes the little page here to our controls for the Blu-ray. We have our play and our stop on the left hand side, our navigation and our menus on the right hand side. There's a button labeled full screen video. If I press that I get a nice little preview of what's being shown. Then I can hit back to get to the main area there. The Blu-ray is located underneath the teacher station here. Uh, on the right hand side. You can use the front panel controls as well. Uh, you can also play your regular DVDs and your CDs on the Blu-ray. You don't have to have a Blu-ray disc in order to utilize it. This is a good time to mention the volume as well. The volume is changed using the knob on the bottom of the touch panel here to the right and to the left to adjust the volume level. 
and whatever is selected is what you're going to hear on the speakers. Now, on our left projector we have the Blu-ray, and on our right projector we have the PC. But the only audio we're going to hear is the Blu-ray audio, and the reason for that is the Blu-ray is the most recent selection that I made. So whatever the most recent button press is, is what your volume is going to control and what's going to be heard over the speakers. So keep that in mind when you're switching and having two sources up on the screen. Our next option here is our document camera option. The document camera is located on the right side of the teacher station here. The power is in the back. I press the power button and that light blinks green. It'll become a solid green when the document camera is ready to go. The advanced features are up here on the camera. I can zoom in and zoom out using this little zoom wheel here. There's auto and manual focus and some other options here. When the document camera is ready to go, I come to the touch panel. I hit dock cam. It takes just a couple of seconds for everything to negotiate, just like it does with any source. So we're just patient and we wait two or three seconds. And then anything I'm doing on the document camera is going to show up on the left projector because that's what tab we had selected. The last thing we'll mention on the source select row here is the auxiliary button. When I press the auxiliary button, it gives me a little sub-menu here, allowing me to choose between S-Video and composite video. And those connections are right back here in the cable cubby again. They share the audio, but the S-Video is over here and the composite video is here. And this would be for if you had uh, an external device, like you wanted to bring in a video camera from home and hook it up into the system. You'd hook it up right into there, choose the correct option, and then you'd use your device to control it and it would come over the big screen for it. On the left-hand side of the touch panel here, we have a left projector mute and unmute and a right projector mute and unmute. And when I press that left projector mute, it's going to do two things. It's going to mute the video from the projector. In other words, it's going to send a black screen up there without powering the projector down. And it's also going to put the screen up for me. And I'll show you with a demonstration here why that's a great little feature to have. I hit the left projector mute. The, the video from the projector went off and the screen went up and so now I'm free to write on the whiteboard. We've still got the other projector up over there and I'm free to write on the whiteboard and do whatever I need to do without powering the system down and with still having a, a screen up on the right hand side there. And when I'm done, I can hit the left projector unmute button and that's going to put the video back up. Remember we had the document camera up there. It's going to put the video back up and it's going to bring the screen back down and so now I'm back into the normal mode. And the right projector mute and unmute is obviously going to do the same thing just with the other projector. The bottom button here is our help button. When I press the help button the names and phone numbers of a couple of members of the academic technology services staff pop up and those are important numbers because if you ever have problems during class or if you ever need assistance or training or anything like that you give those numbers a call and somebody will help you as soon as possible. I'm going to hit the OK button. It's going to take me back to the main screen. In the bottom right hand corner of our screen here, we have a button that says System Off. When I hit that System Off button, it's going to ask if I'm sure I want to power down. And when I hit that Power Down button, both of the projectors are going to turn off, which is very important, so we save the life of the projector bulbs. And both the screens are going to go up into the ceiling. And I'll remind you one more time to call Academic Technology Services. If you ever have questions or ever need anything at all, we'd be happy to help. Thank you.